Hi friends, today I am here with another video about Kerala PSC lecture in English Stud College study material. So, when we are preparing for Kerala PSC, we have to concentrate on syllabus. They will be giving syllabus and based on that we have to study and based on the syllabus they will be asking questions. So, this videos are especially for Kerala PSC College area selection examination. So, uh, I am concentrating on the module wise syllabus so you will be able to understand it more clearly and I have given the one word questions also so that as it is as the examination is based on is like a one word questioning examination so the first one is module 1 Jeffrey Chaucer the prologue to the Canterbury tale that is the first module and uh, prologue to the Canterbury tale is the first lesson chapter or the topic in this first module so i'll discuss some one word questions regarding that in general about jeffrey chaucer then we'll moving on to the detailed questions about the prologue to the canterbury tale the steen ale remark had chaucer returned in prose it is possible that historias and Grisade and not richardson's vamela would be celebrated as the first english novel second one gk chesterton humorously remarked if Chaucer is the father of English poetry, he is the grandfather of English fiction. Chaucer has been hailed as the morning star of Renaissance. Thomas Oakley, John Lydgate, Stephen Howes, and John Skelton are known as English Chaucerian. Matthew Arnold remarked, with him is born our real poetry. Chaucer is the first man to make the words, naked words in English. So these are some questions related to Chaucer. Seventh one, Spencer called Chaucer the well of English undefiled. Low remark, Chaucer found English a dialect and left it a language. W.J. Long called him our first modern poet. In the 19th century, Matthew Arnold admired him for the golden dewdrop of modern poet. Chaucer is the first great painter of character. Because he is the first great observer of it among European writer. That is said by A.C. Ward. Then next one. To our prize, therefore of Chaucer as a poet, there must be this limitation. He lacks high seriousness, the great classics and therefore an important part of their virtue. Matthew Arnold. G.K. Chesterton has pointed out that Chaucer was capable of gravity and high seriousness. Thomas Oakley, John Lydgate, Stephen Howes, and John Skelton are known as English Chaucerian. Arnold wrote about Chaucer. With him is born our real poetry. The Canterbury Tale is a work by Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer is one of the greatest poets of England and the father of both English language and English poetry. Chaucer gave new form and shape to the English East Midland dialect. Source of the Canterbury Tale is Boccaccio's Decameron. The Canterbury Tale is a collection of stories in, in a frame story written between 1387 to 1400. Chaucer likely wrote the poem in late 1380s and 1390s. Uh, William Caxton published the first printed version of Canterbury Tale in 1476. Canterbury Tale is an incomplete work. Chaucer planned to complete 124 stories, but he was able to complete only 24. Then the 20th question. The work tells the story of a group of 30 people, including the narrator, who travels from Southwark to visit the shrine of St. Thomas Bucket at Canterbury. Tales and Canterbury Tales presented as a part of story telling contest by a group of pilgrims as they were travelled to gather on a journey from Southwark to the shrine of St. Thomas Becket at Canterbury Cathedral. The prize of the contest is a free meal at Tabard Inn at Southwark on the return. Tabard Inn is situated in Southwark. Each pilgrim should tell a story on their way to the shrine and way back from the shrine. Chaucer intended to write 124 tales in Canterbury Tale, but was able to complete only 24. Twenty-sixth one, the innkeeper's name is Harry Bailey. The barden means the sleeveless coat. 
there were 29 pilgrims according to the prologue but actually 31 including Chaucer. Chaucer's description of the pilgrim begins with a knight. The Canterbury tale consists of 17,000 lines. Chaucer wrote in a local language. He speaks like a bard or a singer or a narrator. The prologue is a pen portrait of character. The prologue to the Canterbury Tales runs into 858 lines. Then 35th question number 35. The work contains 21 unfinished stories and 3 unfinished stories. The verse in Canterbury Tale consists of rhymed couplet. Heroine couplet is the most Heroic couplet is the most common meter used in the poem. So that is a there is a spelling mistake here. Heroine. Hero, that is not heroine. Heroic couplet. Characters in the Canterbury tale are the narrator, the knight, the squire, the wife of Bath, the partner, the miller, the prioress, the moor, the friar, the summoner, the host, the physician, the franklin, the reeve, the plowman, the glide, glidesman, the cook, the yeoman, the second nun, the nun's priest, the carpenter, habardash, web, dyer, tapsier. In the Canterbury tale, Chaucer makes a critic of clergy. The Canterbury tale contains two prose tale, pardon's tale and the tale of Melibus. So in this video, I had given 40 questions related to Canterbury tale. The first module's first topic for the BSc preparative material. So hope you understood this one. Study this material thoroughly and I will be back with another video or the continuation of this one. Uh, thank you. Bye. See you later. And one more thing let me remind you that is if you like the video subscribe it. Like the button and watch it and learn properly. Once again bye.